very stressed out because Royal Jordanian won't let us check in online. And we're gonna get to Istanbul with about an hour to spare. And you need three hours, or at least 90 minutes to get checked in. So we might miss our flight in Istanbul. Terrible day with our flights being canceled and everything like that. Although they weren't we canceled, it was missed. We couldn't check in. There was no way to check into the flight anywhere. Yeah. Online at the airport. No gate. It, it like didn't exist. So <laughs> that being said, Turkish Airlines will, is very much top of the list of yeah. yeah. No, they really did turn our whole day around. That sweet lady at the counter was like, this girl's about to blow up. Like she was so nice. Yeah. She was very gentle in delivering the price of the new tickets to me. <laughs> in understanding of, apparently this, it seems like this happens a lot because she was like, as soon as oh, we yeah. said Jordanian Royal Air, she, she was, was like, like, yep. Anyway. Bye for from Amman, Jordan. Today we are going to go to the Citadel and then we're going to the Roman Theater. So far it's been pretty nice. It's a little warm but not unbearable. That's 84 degrees but the sun is pretty intense. So we'll see how it goes. got done with the Citadel. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, well, they pulled in a lot of stuff from like around, like artifacts from Jerash and Jerusalem and like other places around here too. So it was like, I think it was like their National Archaeological Museum up at the top. Yeah. But yeah, it was pretty cool. It was cool. Obviously, um, I don't think Jordan gets as much tourism, or at least Amman doesn't get as much tourism as other places. Though their museum was I mean, a little it was, rundown. <laughs> it was, it looked like, well, all the artifacts were super cool, but then like the little placards looked like they were laminated, like yeah. elementary school style. And I don't know, I just, well, and up at the cafe, it said that the US Department of International Development or something yeah. paid for the renovation of the USAID. cafe. So I think that they're like getting up, like they're getting, 
it's starting to get renovated. They're yeah. starting to get money to fix it up and make it better. But that being said, it was still very cool. I feel like if you're looking for like a Greece-like experience, that's not it. But if you are truly invested in like the history, then it's super cool. Yeah. But it's also kind of weird. This wall is getting really close. To me. It's also kind of weird because they let people like climb all over the ruins. So I was just like, I don't know. It was a very mixed experience for me. I enjoyed it. I would recommend others do it, but I'm still processing. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to yell at people to get down and yep. stop running. It's very hot. So pro tip: bring your own water and, and uh, shade and bring a hat. I wish I had my hat right now. Yeah. But. That's pretty much it. Right? Off to lunch. Off to lunch. stuff off our table but luckily we got one because everybody's wandering around here without a table all right we have to start eating because i was getting violent we have hummus olive oil batea 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 which looks like some sort of eggplant hummus we did with all kinds of spices and nuts on it we got a big fat bowl of pita bread i got a nice hot tea because it's you know crispy out here and the falafel is nearly gone already. That's what we got. And now we're paying. Uh, we're gonna see the Roman theater. We saw it from the Citadel and a lovely uh, tour guide who was trying to get some business from us just told us to go down and then go to the right and we will end up here, but we ended up having lunch first. So now we're gonna go down and right. <laughs> Let's do it. here is a little unnerving. The marble is really slick. It's all worn down and I have a fear of heights so proceed with caution. And now we get to walk down. Like how many people just like over the centuries have just busted ass on these? Hopefully one more doesn't happen today. Josh pointed this out earlier but on all the lights here in the Citadel they just put like saran wrap so it makes it glow red very scrappy 